I hear that you had your own business at the time you ran well. So what line of work was it you had built up? Well, as I said, I was joined by trade, but um, we ended up, I ended up sort of working in a factory in a joiner shop back in the 90s. And I met a guy there, a bit younger than myself, who was, uh, I thought, you know, very good chippy, very trustworthy. So um, back in 1998, I started my own business. Right. It was when all the tax laws were changing around to being self-employed or employed. You'd got to show that you were taking a risk. Yes. So I had a few shares in the bank and I cashed them in, a couple of grand, and ended up buying a planer and a saw and mm. set up my own little factory. Mm. And then in the October or November, I think Phil joined me as an equal partner and we just went on from there. Okay. Just making shop fittings, um, stuff for the retail industry, really. Did the business develop with time? Um, we never employed anybody. There was only the two of us. Mm -hmm. We used to sort of price the work, make it, go out and fit it. Mm. Um, it did develop, yeah. We ended up buying our own factory mm -hmm. uh, 10 years ago, which okay. was paid for last April. Okay, well done. Um, we were in a comfortable position. We, we weren't sort of breaking any records due to the fact they said there was going to be a recession. Mm. I think it was 2008, 2009. Mm. But we managed to cover his overheads, pay the wages, um, mm. and we made a reasonable living out of it. Mm. But uh, we've had 16 years working together. Yeah. Um, and then obviously Guy said that, went to see my consultant, and basically said, with what I've got, he says, you know, just sell your business and, and enjoy what life you've got left. What did you think about that advice? Uh, it was a bit of a shock, really, when, mm. he, when I first when he first told me yeah but uh, deep down I thought well that's all I can do really mm. and then when it came to the fact I found out it was treatable yeah but not curable yes that sort of set it straight you know with that we both decided it would sell up and I can go my way and Phil can go his way and did it work out okay in the end yeah not a problem at all I mean the factory was still in the process of being emptied and the machinery still had to be sold whilst I was ill in hospital. Yes. But uh, Phil sorted all that out. So you no know. one took over the business as it was? You sold the assets? Yeah, we sold a lot. We sold the factory to the guys next door. Mm. Um, they've wanted it for, you know, we've always had give them first refusal. Mm -hmm. um, all the machinery that we had we actually sold. Mm. Um, and just basically emptied the factory out and that was it. Okay. And how do you feel it's changed your life to give up that work that you put so much in? Well, it, it was a bit disappointing. Um, having said that, you know, every year seemed to be getting slightly more difficult for me, mm -hmm. personally. Mm -hmm. um, whether or not I'd had enough deep down. Yeah. But um, I could always get a job somewhere if I need to. Sure. It's not an issue.